Cisco Endpoint Amp, Orbital, Forensic Snapshot. So categories here is forensics, live acquisition of volatile data. Um, so forensic snapshot for Windows, um, you can see multiple SQL statements here. You would, could run this as a live query, which we're going to do. You can also schedule it. You can also use SecureX and automate the, the acquisition of a forensic snapshot. So here we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll grab it. Now, one thing I, I tried doing before is copy. It does not work, right? Because it has to be broken down in individually. So you have to hit the plus button for add. Go ahead and run that live query. This will take some time depending on the data on the endpoint. Um, but I'm running this currently against two endpoints and I'm capturing um, the data from both. So we can see here SHA-256 hash of running processes. They all exist here. And what's really cool here, if you saw something that came back as malicious, right, it would show red. And if, uh, if I wanted to, I could add it to a custom detection list. Here's my map drives, interface names, and associated IPs. And again, from here, I could you know, do some additional um, investigation. A couple more here, we're looking at application shims, PowerShell history, we got logged in user. Let's look at PowerShell history here, right? And again, if we're doing this individually and we're looking for something specific with PowerShell, we can do that, right? Um, but in our case, we're, we're capturing as much data from the endpoint forensically. And you can see here, set execution policy bypass, right? Again, a human's gonna come through here and analyze the data to, to determine what took place. See the Windows version. We've got um, user accounts that are on the machine. We have processes with, with uh, network connections. Right, and you can see there's lots. There's user groups. Um, there's, you know, loaded processes or loaded module IDs to process IDs, scheduled tasks. You get the idea, right? So again, forensically, it's went out and um, pulled the data that would be important for us to to analyze to determine what 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 happened here. And, there, and there's an example of process here, processes here even the PIDs, right, uh, associated with the process name, and we can download from there. What I wanted to show you, within Endpoint Amp, you can actually, it uses the OS query, right, um, but you can also take a, a forensic snapshot right from Endpoint Amp as well, which is pretty cool, and then you can pivot into viewing that snapshot, and you can see the layout's a little bit different here, right? Um, you can see auto-exec items, listening ports, um, you know, map drives, logged in, log on sessions, PowerShell history. But I was able to drive that from Endpoint AMP. I didn't have to go into, you know, um, Orbital to, to run that. So pretty easy, right, to get that forensic data that you might need during investigations or incident response.